hey y'all what's up what's up what's up what's up I know it's been a minute but I'm back with a series of hauls thank you guys so much for watching this is Fro plus fashion and I am Shamika also known as Mika here on the internet so I have been thrifting a whole whole lot from summer all the way up to the present day so I've accumulated a lot of things with fall in mind um, and more specifically this is gonna be a thrift haul and as any of you that have done thrifting before know you can't just necessarily go for specifically what you want sometimes sometimes you see things that are perfect for upcoming seasons and that's exactly what's been going on with me all through the summer I've been seeing things that will be perfect for fall and actually on trend so a lot of the things that you're gonna see are on trend in one way shape or form um, they just have to happen to be thrifted items and if you notice that I'm a little extra nasally than usual or nasally congested than usual it's because I legit have the flu I'm recovering from it but I still have some congestion and stuff going on in my chest so that's what that is about and also if you hear any you know out of the way noises any plastic and stuff like I live with people so my son and my boyfriend and stuff so I cannot keep them perfectly silent for more than five minutes so I apologize for that I live with people so since I have so much different things going on I decided to split this video up into about three videos so I don't make it too long-winded um, I don't want anything past eight minutes tops so I'm gonna split it up into two um, with hauls featuring you know like basic items and then the third video is gonna be like an outerwear for fall video so let's just get right into it. It's, as you guys know, pleated skirts are in. They've always been in, but my main struggle when it comes to pleated skirts is the maintaining of the pleats. Like, how? Like, I like to just be able to throw things in the wash and not have to worry about ironing them and doing anything extra tedious in terms of maintaining them. And I've learned that I have a love-hate relationship with pleated start skirts. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys is this really cute maxi skirt. It is not pleated at all, but because of the vertical lines, the solid black lines with the um, floral, it's a really tiny minuscule floral design in between those solid black lines. It just gives the illusion of the skirt being pleated. And it's very voluminous and very flowy when you twirl like I'm not responsible for you know the twirl situs that you're about to experience if you ever have a skirt like this in your life but so yeah I just really love it for that reason it gives me the illusion of having a pleated skirt without having to do the extra maintenance when it comes to this skirt um, I would definitely pair this with a simple basic top and a wide cinch belt which is in by the way um, so get you some wide belts to accentuate your waist and do things like that but I just really love this skirt for that reason super super cute one thing I don't have a lot of and I've never really played around with are brown colored things if it's not like a leopard print or some interesting print like I have never bought a solid brown anything unless it was underwear so I purchased this really cute caramel brown basic top it's three-quarter length sleeve I would estimate and it has like a half of a turtleneck so it's not really a full-on turtleneck which I don't think really looks that good on me when it's a full one I just look kind of choked up so I really love this one and this one is from Carolina colors and I got it in an XL and it's super super cute and I could easily pair it with the skirt that I just showed you guys. Super simple basic top for fall giving you all the fall color vibes. Another thing that I picked up is not necessarily a fall item but to me it still counts somehow. I don't know the reasons why I buy some of the things I buy but I just really love this cute floral top. It's a boxy crop top 
and I just think that it's cute even though it's floral it fulfills all the requirements I have for having a floral item and that is it has to have a black undertone and it has to be like a really cute vibrant floral print that I like. It can't be too ridiculously small and it can't be too ridiculously large and I really love that about it. So this is going to just be something easy that I can throw on with some jeans or some wide leg pants. Um, there's so many different ways that I can style this. I can wear this at home. You know, I have kids in the house other than my son, so I can't necessarily walk around in risque things anymore. So, yeah, I have to wear clothes in the house. So, this is going to be a really cute, you know, all-purpose top. So the next item I want to share with you is a basic black and white graphic top from Croft and Barrow in the size 2X. Again, it's another sweatshirt and it's a three quarter length sleeve. Um, I like a lot of black in case you guys didn't know. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Hope you subscribe by the end of this video. But I like a lot of black and white. As of lately, I've been playing around a lot with color, but for the most part, I'm like a black and white and gray kind of girl. So I just really love this because it's going to just give me a lot of versatility for a lot of the black, white, and gray pieces and also the other colorful pieces that I already have in my wardrobe. So I just picked it up just for that. I need a lot of basics. I work 9 to 5. I am always out doing something with the kids and stuff. So, you always want to have things that you can just throw on really easy and still look cute, you know, and not too bummy. Um, I'm probably going to be saying this time and time again throughout the fall and even into the winter season or for as long as this trend lasts. I am a huge fan of ruffle sleeves and ruffle details and so... It's, it's been one thing that I have kept in my mind that I'm never going to be able to find a lot of in the thrift stores because it's such a more recent trend and if I do find it, it's going to be like a peasant top, vibesy, you know, hippie kind of top, you know, really outdated looking tops, but I was able to find this really cute top. It has, um, you know, coral in it and also the gray undertones in it as well and I just think it's super cute for fall because it's like an orange but it's like a different kind of orange you know not the expected color orange and of course the ruffle sleeves are super cute as well and I'm in Florida so sometimes Florida is not always with the fall program in terms of temperatures so it's really sheer and light which allows me to have like the fall vibes going on with the ruffle sleeves and whatever colors I decide to pair this up with but at the same time I'm not dying of heat stroke I'm trying to be cute but I'm not because I'm like a huge sweat ball. Now this sweater, this next sweatshirt, I don't know. What makes a sweatshirt a sweatshirt versus a full on sweater? Is it the thickness? Is it the knit? What is it? What makes a sweatshirt a sweatshirt and what makes a sweater a sweater? Let me know in the comments down below. So I got this really cute sweatshirt and it has all these really cute fun colors and all of them in some way shape or form can be worn in fall, really fall vibesy and um, you know it just reminds me of vintage it looks like I belong on like an episode of Stranger Things of something but um what really sold me is the asymmetrical button detail down the left sleeve i think that's really cute and i've been seeing that a lot on a lot of my favorite clothing stores that they have like asymmetrical details where the, where like where you would see a top and then like one sleeve will be super long and the other sleeve is short or very similar to this top you'll see a long sleeve shirt with buttons only going down one side so I think that this is super cute. I've also been seeing long sleeve shirts with stripes similar to this giving you that vintage 60s, 70s vibe, whichever era this came from. You know, I'm an 80s baby, so yo no sé. But I really love this top. It's super cute and because of all the colors, it's going to be vers very versatile for the things that I already have in my wardrobe. Like I said, I'm a black and white girl. 
So you can imagine when I saw this top with this pattern, it was nice, okay? This top is from Lane Bryant and it's a size 22, 24. But one thing that I also like to do is I like to wear things oversized. And if it's a top, I like to cinch it at the waist with wide waist belts when I can. So I bought it specifically for that reason. As you guys know, I have a 95 like so many of you. So sometimes I wake up early and sometimes I oversleep. And not for those days when I oversleep, a simple top with some simple straight pants and some flats or boots. And I'm through the door so this is gonna be a perfect top for that you know easy dressing you know you don't want to be standing in the closet forever contemplating what your outfit is when you have probably 15 minutes to get to work and drop your son and possibly grab a coffee okay so you have to be strategic if you're one of those late runners and I think this top is a really cute option it's super flowy it's gonna be perfect against any color that you decide to incorporate with it so I just think it's a really cute option all right all right y'all so that is going to be the first part of my thrift all I hope you guys enjoyed let me know which of any of the pieces were your favorites um, and also let me know about that sweater sweatshirt thing just let's have a conversation about clothes like I could talk about clothes all day so yeah Stay tuned for part two. It's going to be up shortly after this one. And subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a huge thumbs up. If you want to see more clothing hauls, don't worry, they're on the way. But definitely let me know if you enjoyed this one and still want to see more after the ones I already have planned. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.